Hello everyone, I'm Great Look. thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 332 with, of Actari with the Z-Block Mart, where we have just been doing some maintenance, there were some problems with this train station, our gold production and titanium production didn't run as it should because we have a lack of sulfuric acid, we should have fixed that, hopefully, with a unbarreling of sulfuric wastewater up here and added that to the blueprint and yeah we hope that this will soon just ramp up it is running a little bit now but it's really not that fast still mm. So all the sulfuric wastewater we get up here is just allowed to be in, to be output at the moment until the storage tank get a little bit more full. I think we said a thousand, right? Can we see that? No? Oh well. We can see that in here at least. This one, yes, a thousand in there. Then we are allowed to input barrels. Oops. But I believe we are done with our maintenance now. So now we should work towards blue circuits, finally, I think. And we should just clear this up. We didn't already do the, this right. The last thing we did was integrated electronics. Which we would need a lot more of if we wanted 120 blue circuits per second. Yes, integrated electronics is the last thing. So we'll go here and make blue circuits now. But maybe we should design something first. Also, this is already with beacons. And that's a lot of machines, so maybe we should aim a lot lower to begin with. 40, 40, 20. That's an okay ratio, I guess. Just making sure here, we have four beacons for each machine. That should be right. So we need to make a design for this. We could try and draw some inspiration from a... where did we make this? Not green circuits. Basically, the integrated electronics, I guess. Why did we do that? Oh, right here. Well, that's a different ratio, but we need fluids for this as well. Oh, here's some of my robots. Who would have thought? And... Let's just get rid of this. Good. So, no, we need to go and design something. Come on, keep focus. I'm still gonna do it close to integrated electronics, though, I think. Or maybe this. Well, it's close to both, I guess. No, this is transistors, what? We ended up with this, I think. Where was integrated electronics again? God dang it. Not that. Not this. Not that. That. Yeah, it just doesn't look like an integrated electronics production. It looks like something with bigger machines or something. No, this is nothing we need to worry about. Okay, again. Go down here. 
go yeah in that do we have everything here we need just from train stations we get silver in we get copper in we get fiberglass in we need to cut this up and that's going to be a lot of belts it's going to be a lot of belts in general So maybe we should scale it down even further than 30. But we'll see, I guess. Hmm. Let's just start something up here. We need a machine to assemble the processing substrates. Processing substrate. That will input into something that makes processing boards and into the boo circuits. And that needs a different fluid. We need a lot of inputs into all of these. A lot of inputs, I said. So I would rather have a wider setup than a... Well, because we need a lot of belts going under anyway. So, yeah. Rather wider than a taller setup. Purple is the one we have right here. Yes. Just not green. So for this we need the fluid in, that's fine. And we need glass fiberglass ports, cover, silver, 60 of each for this side, and that's what's on these belts. Then for this we need 120 soda, 60, no that's from this, directly inserted, 120 integrated electronics, 240 of these, holy christ, and 120 of those. How many pills is that? Two, four, Eight, ten belts just for this, or for, not for this machine, but for the 20 machines going up we would have this. Also we need two of these for every one of these. So ten, ten purple belts, that doesn't seem reasonable. Does it? I mean, we could just make more space between these if we wanted to. Basically, get as much space as we wanted. And having all the space for one setup is probably just as well as having the space for two setups. This gives us a lot of space for beacons as well, possibly. So it's still just three belts for this. One, two, three. Two belts for soda. Two belts for integrated electronics. Four belts for transistors. Two belts for basic electronic components. And then this is all just for those two machines. It seems ridiculous, but I mean, we can reach it with inserters. That is transferred into there, and then we just need two belts of titanium and one belt of uh, red circuits. Titanium, titanium, 
couldn't we get away with this? For the red belts. Yes, we could. No, we couldn't, because we need this under then as well. So we are going to ignore that. And have our red circuits out here. Uh, we can't have this this close anyway, actually. Because this needs to come up to feed the other side of this. So now we can go under here. Well, these don't need to be that far. I don't think at least. I think this is possible. Could maybe also move this further in and go under with this. It would way make it weird with this one because we would need to go under up here. We could try doing this. Makes inputting into these a little bit weirder, but. Is that so bad? We need three inserters for each of them. And then we still need to be able to transfer from these to there, which would basically be those two, maybe. I think this should be able to reach everything. That takes the fire belt. That takes the second belt. This takes the third belt. Third belt. And this transfers. And then we need all of these belts to go into there, so we probably don't have this much space anyway. But we could do this, maybe. We could also move this out, then we have one tile extra if we need it. So do we need more than four inserters taking from this side? I guess we can get away with four here and six on this side. Unless we don't want to take from every build, of course, and just balance the builds a bit better. Because we have a lot of belts with the same thing on here. Can we manage that? It would be easier to just be able to take from all belts, of course, but taking from four belts of transistors is a bit stupid. So I need to mark these with resources. You do silver. A purple. You do copper. You do fiberglass pots. You I'd like the middle ones to be the things we have a lot of, I think. But we have a lot of everything, basically. But we could have two belts of soda here. Two belts of integrated electronics. And then 
two belts of basic electronic components. And then the four belts of transistors. And then we have two belts of titanium. Let's just copy that and do one belt of red circuits. Good. So that's all the belts we need. And we need those. Over here or something as well. That's a lot of stuff. But it's fine. I'm sure. So. The transfer here and the input for this. No, the rest of the inputs for, for this first, of course. We need to take one of these, one of these, one of these. And I guess one of those as well. Is it stupid to use these for the close ones? Because then we need to do something like that. So since we need a lot of these in, I'm just going to have two inserters to do that. So we have five inserters for four resources. That should be fine. We need to figure out when to shift belts though. Solution. Uh, did we want to do this or not? This only makes sense if we want to move this in. And we don't. So now this might not make sense or not. Good. And then all of the inputs for here, which is really just two inputs. We can actually hit the middle ones with this, that's good. And we can hit them from here as well if we wanted to. So we can power everything, or beacon everything, pretty easily. Would of course have been nice if we could hit everything with one row of it, but yeah, 
that's wishful thinking. Yeah, we're never gonna get this all the way in here. So you're producing stuff now, right? Yes. Now that actually needs a place to output. And it's a lot less than a belt, I think. We will do that. This still hits the middle as well. And we have the extra belt. Here. We need this at least 10 times, and we need to somehow balance four belts in 10 setups. That's not the easiest, so maybe we just go to 12. So for every three, we then start taking from a new uh, transistor belt. But we should probably mirror this already. Was that too soon? We can just do that later, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Now this transistor belt is empty. So now we take from there. Should also only have used one fourth of everything else. Also, we could have just had the build of coiled solder and have an extra machine in here. I think we have the space for that. Uh, what am I doing? Cut solder up in here. It doesn't tell me the ratios for that. So we get three belts off out of one belt. So yes, we could live with one belt here. Then maybe we could squeeze stuff closer together, but then we wouldn't have space for the extra machine, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh yeah, we had three or two inserts for these. Good, three of those. We are gonna move away. So now this belt will be empty. Apparently I didn't get all of this. And we have three of that. And then this belt will be empty. And I guess it's then time to move these out a bit so we don't have to do this. Oh, is that okay? That's a terrible thing to make it do, but maybe it's not the worst in the world. I think I didn't correct these before. So take from there, but they don't take from here. Now I take from there and put to there-ish. 
you take from there and go to there. It actually doesn't look like we need that much throughput. And I mean, if we have uh, three times two, so six machines to consume a belt, maybe it's not that bad. Are we where we should be? 65, that doesn't sound like 12 by 5. So I might just put one, two mini up here. One, two, three, four, yes. Okay. So now we have 10 machines here, right? 12, sorry, yes, because we scaled it up. And before we start mirroring that, let's just add beacons. And move this further, right? No. So I think we'll just have to do this. should only be able to make 15 here so that's less than half a belt so we don't need to worry about the balancing here why are these not moving at full speed or moving at all basically because i haven't balanced everything else of course so six machines in we need to stop using this belt and this belt and this belt and this belt let's see if we can figure that out two three four five one two three four five I think that is right. And then we need to shift these around, I guess. Yeah. So that's right still, that's right still, this is right still, this is not. Oh wait, this there is. This... what? Oh, we only need three things in there. It's these that needs to be redone so something like that something like that something like that and these can just be We need this as well. So with the exception of these, we can just copy paste this. Or maybe it's easiest to just do it twice or do it separately. Can I drag these? Yes. A and then this was the only other thing that needs to be fixed.
think that is right. This should start running at full speed as well soon. No, that's not what it should do. We should have more than enough machines to handle everything. Maybe some of them are just starting to try to back up on stuff, so some of the later machines doesn't get everything they need. But over time that should adjust. So this really shouldn't happen. Is it only happening for this build? There's also some here, but that could be the same thing. It seems like it's running for a long... No, then we have it again. Is it actually possible to even see this in the video? I, I don't know. Sorry if you can't see it with this stuff. It is very fast built, of course. Sada. Oh, because of this. Hopefully that's the only problem. Now I would say that we have a lot of space here, we could move this all together, but that's only because we have removed belts, because we don't have a lot of space down here to squash everything together. Not in any way that matters, at least. I think this should be good. And it does indeed look good to me. Good. So, now we can try and mirror it. Good. Does that actually change direction? No. Good. Does this go anywhere it can? Or... And this has to move over here. So this thing will just be rotated. should not have put anything there that we didn't need, so why did we? Oh, that's probably just from when we didn't have the machines, then some inserters put some stuff that others took. Yes. So let's get that all cleaned out. Obviously, this is still very ambitious. We're not making this many transistors. Probably not this many integrated electronics either. 
Though I think we aim towards 360. I don't think we are there. And 240 titanium plate is definitely not happening at the moment. Of course, that is all something we can work on. But now that we have this, it should last for a long while. So I'm just gonna take this. Something is wrong here. We did do something stupid. Oh no. Let's try and redo that. Yeah, we can't take this and rotate, then we're inserting, putting more inserters down. Yes. But if we just do it anyway, put it there, remove inserters and remove those, it should be good. Do we believe this is set up correctly now? Do we have the same number of machines here as on the other side? 60 machines, that sounds about right. 276 inserters. 276. 324 underground builds. 335, so I still have problems somewhere, probably with the middle machines, yes. Oh, this is cut off here. Okay, is that then 334? 324? 324, okay. What else? Power poles should be fine. It's all good now, I think. I believe it. So, take this, put there, remove those. And everything else should be fine, yes. So put that down and get a copy of that and go out here. So now we should just be able to go and make it. We just need a lot more electronics assembling machines. 100, no 120. I believe. That's more than 120. Good. We need a lot of purple underground built. Because we don't have that in the train. 500. We need 640. We don't have any of it under the train, right? No. Should you go back and maybe refill? I don't actually know, but let's send it anyway. 530. We could just downgrade this belt to begin with, but 
I loathe the time we need to go and actually fix everything that we need to upgrade. Because we're just gonna upgrade everything, even the things we don't need to upgrade. Mm. I don't know. How many did I say I needed? 648. You, sir, need to be faster. Wait, what? We are not using stack inserters here. Time to change that. Fast inserter to fast stack inserter. Start small, I guess. Or maybe not. Go big or go home. Wait, is that not a thing in this blue blueprint we're using for everything? Is this not stack inserters? It looks like a stack inserter. It is a stack inserter. Okay. Okay, we have enough. Except that everything needs to come out of a train station on purple builds as well. And I still haven't fixed my loader mod. Or found a new loader mod that actually supports higher tier builds. We can only go to blue so far. But that's still an okay start, I think. Okay. We are just going to go and get this started. Get some work done for once. And we're gonna run out of landfill very soon, but... We'll try to manage. This will be a pretty small thing. Same as this. This might need to expand on the train stations, though. But we're still allowed to put our junction around here. It's all of the landfill, dang it. It's always the landfill. I should probably carry around at least twice as much, probably even more. It just fills up the inventory so fast. We could also just put some on the train. Do we have extra space here? I don't remember. I think I would like it more to have it on the train. Obviously, because then my inventory won't get filled as often. I believe, at least. Let's see. I'm sure we can fill it with something else. Maybe it's just time to add another wagon to this. Do we have space for that in our stack cars? I 
think it should just be possible. One, two-ish. I think we've done it before as well, so I think so. I think that's an okay start. And I will limit my own request back down to a couple of thousand then. Does that work? This uh, wagon being closed means that it's not really available, right? Why am I wrong about that? Because an open wagon will do that. But we're allowed to put stuff in there, so I, I don't think this matters. Forty thousand, please. Lots of robots will have to work on that. That's fine. And then you will go. Yeah. I guess you didn't get a lot, so we will bring some more ourselves. Lots and lots. I don't think we need more ammo, so we should be good. Good. Oh, we haven't finished this part. We need the train to stop here anyway. Otherwise it will go back to base. And we need a fuel train. But we need to name this. Are we gonna call them blue circuits or are we gonna call them processing units? Well, we call bread circuits advanced circuits, so let's do processing unit. U. You please go as far forward as you can here. Wait for a passenger. And fuel train. Please go come to processing unit fuel empty all time five seconds yes this is possible to have it in there good so we're not blocking anything by doing this Okay. Do. I think well I know we're going to need a lot of stations here. We are gonna unload sulfuric acid and ferric chloride first. 
because then the robots don't need to fly as far with those. Should we make a station and unload from both sides? Because otherwise we need two train stations just for the transistors. But, I mean, it this only takes the extra space for a... rail piece so it's not like this is going to be a lot bigger so let's just keep using this so that's transistors if we had purple belts because 6120 240 480 Space. So we only just started. So we're starting from the bottom silver, copper, glass fiber, fiberglass, solder. Oh, we didn't actually cut up the solder in the blueprint. But let's try and remember. Integrated electronics, transistors, oh, hello worms, please save some power for me, and let's hope we didn't make a mistake with aligning all of these. Then we will need more of those and okay. what else? No, not that many of those. We have plenty of these, I think. Need more of those and of those. I think we didn't actually need more barreling things. Please be aligned. So far, so good. Great. We only got two transistors. No, wait, we didn't. From the bottom. Silver cover, fiberglass ports, solder, integrated electronics, two transistors, one basic electronic components. We still need three stations. about we actually utilize our robots in the network instead of training my power oh, stop it Anything else they need? 
maybe some robopods. Do I have any robopods? I don't see them. Rail, of course. We probably will need more rail. I think we need to upgrade the belt right now anyway. And it's not just blue, it's just purple, so... From red to purple, from this red to purple, from this red to purple, and from... Well, the loader, we don't have a purple one off, so... This is fine. Let's empty out some artifacts. And we should have brought a lot more of purple stuff here. Oh, too late for that now. Hmm, maybe we should request all of the trains to start with. Stations? I don't have more stations. I mean, this is a lot of stations. 14. We don't have any in here, right? Mm, no. So we need to go and fetch those. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.